Hi everyone. You're welcome to Philco Mathematics. Here we provide detailed solution to problems. Here we have k multiplied by k multiplied by k plus k equals 10. k multiplied by k multiplied by k is k to the power of 3. Then plus k, everything is equal to 10. And if you have this kind of problem, the questions in your head should be, can I write 10 to be in this form? Okay, so that should be the question in your head. And if you are able to answer that question, you will see that 10 can be like this. And that will be 8 plus 2. Okay, so we have k to the power of 3 plus k equals 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 because 2 to the power of 3 is 8 and if you look at the left hand side and the right hand side now you will see what I am talking about now let us reposition so we have k to the power of 3 plus 2 okay negative now because this is coming here to become negative so this is negative 2 to the power of 3 let's put this together then we have plus k negative 2 because this becomes negative just like this then everything is equal to 0 now we have difference of two cubes here and if we have x to the power of 3 and y to the power of 3 as difference of two cubes this can be the same thing as x minus y into x squared plus xy plus y squared okay so this is what we are going to have and from here we will now have x minus y to be k minus 2 because this k is x and 2 is y in this problem in this um, expression so let's go k minus 2 is here into x squared that will be k squared plus xy that is 2k then plus y squared which is 2 squared and it's 4 right then we have plus boom bracket k minus 2 everything is equal to 0 and at this point we are going to carry out factorization so that k minus 2 comes out as the common factor it's here and it's over there then here we have k squared okay by the way let me change this we have k squared plus 2k plus 4 then plus this divided by this is 1 we have 1 over there and then we close it and we equate to 0 now k minus 2 is over there then here now we're going to add this and this so 4 plus 1 is 5 over there k squared plus 2k plus 5 is equal to 0 now k minus 2 is there it's equal to 0 if you like you can remove the bracket we are multiplying both of them now to get 0 and this is what we call the zero product rule so it's either this is 0 or or we have k squared plus 2k plus 5 equals 0 now let's do this from here our k is equal to 0 plus 2 and k is equal to 2 this is one of the solutions to get the other solutions we will work with this expression if we equate it to 0 it becomes an equation and this equation has a name the equation has a name 
Okay, so if I ask you the name, would you know it? What kind of an equation is this? And then you give me the reason. If you say it is quadratic equation, why? Okay, so let's continue. But this is quadratic equation. And it's because of the power of 2. And the equal sign, right? Now we're going to use the formula method for this. Formula is k equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now that I bring um, that I brought k over here, you know, you might be thinking y k and not x. It is the variable you're looking for that comes out as the subject, okay? So that's why k is out over there. Now k again will be 2 is our b, okay? So b is 2 and minus b will now be minus 2 plus or minus b squared is 2 squared minus 4 times 1 times 5 because a is 1 and c is 5 and then divide by 2 times a which is 1. Now k is equal to minus 2 plus or minus we have square root of 2 squared which is 4 minus 20. Okay and then we divide all of this by 2. Let's continue on the other side. Okay, so k now is equal to minus 2. That's what we had from down there. Then there we have 4 minus 20, which will give us minus 16. As we divide by 2 times 1, which is 2. Now we are going to do something. Remove this negative. k will now be minus 2 plus or minus the square root of 16 multiplied by the square root of negative 1. Everything is over 2. Now, take a step further. k will be minus 2 plus or minus. Square root of 16 is, um, is 4. Then square root of negative 1 is i. So 4 times i is 4i as we divide by 2. And from here, Remember that this 2 can go here to give minus 1, then plus or minus. The same 2 will go here to give us 2i. So this is what we have. And then let's go further. Our k now is equal to, um, how do I do it? Okay, let's get the three solutions. Before now, we got k to be equal to 2. Let's call that k1. Then k2, the second solution, is from here. Minus 1 plus 2i. This is our second solution. Then the third solution, k3, is equal to minus 1 minus 2i. So these are the three solutions to the equation.